And here we are back within Danefern Valley showing you a 29 million rand house with five bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. Guys, this home is a stunner and an architectural masterpiece. Not only is it designed uniquely and absolutely beautifully, I don't think I've ever used that word so much in one home, but it is also decorated with so much thought throughout it. This has definitely got all the thing your shui could ever want. So follow me while I take you through this glass, wood and steel masterpiece and show you exactly why this should be your next new home. Here we are within the first floor of this stunning home. I've mentioned so many homes are entertainers, paradises, but this home here would make you feel like a king or a queen in your very own palace. As soon as we arrive up the stairs, here is a little landing area for you to sit down and relax. Stunning glass surrounding this whole floating area as well as coming up the staircase. On my left hand here, you will see all the controls for your automated home system as well as your controls for your music, Apple AirPlay, air conditioning which is central around the house and we arrive right here in the living area. Beautiful custom couch surrounds this whole area. You can entertain so many people here above me. Stunning chandelier and I'd like you to take a look at these exposed rafters above us. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This home, I really cannot get enough of it. Behind me, fireplace that's shared with a dining room area that we're gonna show you in a moment. But guys, the owner of this home is quite open to selling it or some of the furniture. So if this home is for you, and I don't think there's a person on this planet this home isn't for, guys, speak to them about that. They would be open to it. One other thing I wanna show you, let's run this way. All of these windows here, can be stacked and pulled open, giving you a stunning view of the Yaske River over there as well as your grounds down below. But that's everything about this living room area. I could talk for hours. Let's take a look at that dining room area. Coming out of the living room into the dining room areas, the features that take your breath away just continue. The owners of this home did such a wonderful job in terms of designing it. Take a look at this massive dining room table here with this feature chandelier hanging down from those exposed rafters. We've got lighting in the ceiling, highlighting the shadows that those rafters cause, which looks stunning. Also, speakers built along the top. Like I mentioned, Apple AirPlay all around this home. The other side of that shared gas fireplace, stackable windows, giving you that view of the Yaske River right over there. And then coming down this way, you'll find the kitchen, but take a look at what's behind me right there. Your very own enclosed wine cellar, temperature controlled, only the best if you're living in this home. Let's wrap around this kitchen this way. We've got a small reading nook or just an area where you can enjoy the light coming through that frosted glass. And here we've got this central island that's made out of two different materials. We've got this beautiful wood as well as marble over here. Small chef's sink over there for food prep as well as one of these. So you press right here and voila. So if you're doing any food pressing on this island, that's gonna have your plug points covered. On my left here, we've got built-in eye level smeg, two ovens with a built-in microwave, as well as your coffee dispenser. For all of you coffee connoisseurs out there, this is gonna have you covered. Warming drawer, just underneath, and plenty and plenty of cupboard space all around, including this internally lit glass cabinet to display all your very fine glassware. Cupboards coming along all the way down here, as well as, some built-in light inside here. I'm sure it's gonna make it very easy for you to find out what you need. It's those small touches that really make a house feel like a home. So I can't even move away without talking about the lighting elements in this kitchen. I love how so many of these homes have paid such specific attention to lighting because it brings so much character to all of the different places. And right over here, we've got another one of these. This is the second one we've seen in the Home Shopper Show. Beautiful five top gas oven, as well as gas burner, a lacquer nash, Beautiful sunrise. I'd say this is what, sunrise yellow? With a matching extractor fan above it. Love how it looks on the right hand side here. So more counter space with that matching marble top. And over here, we have got your chef's kitchen. So if you come inside, let's take a look. 
Now your chef's kitchen has plenty of under counter space for all of your appliances as well as two built-in fridges. One is a drink cooler, the other one is your fridge freezer combo. We've got your double sink built in there and in front of the double sink, white plantation shutters matching all of the white in the house, allowing you to look out onto your courtyard. So coming out of your chef's kitchen, you'll find on your right hand side, your pantry there for any of your dry goods storage. Lots of space here for this absolutely massive double door fridge. And over here, one of the coolest features I've ever seen in a house, and that is this temperature controlled wine cellar, built in racks for all the wine, back lit. It really is a feature on its own, almost a piece of art. So you know how I like wine, guys. I'm gonna take a look in here and see if I find anything I like. And here you find yourself in another sitting room area, a more formal sitting room area, again with these stunning views of the Yaxke River as well as the outside grounds in Danefin Valley. Take a look at the chandelier above you as well as these exposed rafters. I can't get enough of the way the lighting has been used to make this home feel so palatial, but yet still so warm and welcoming. Plenty of space here, beautiful artwork on the walls, and again, as I mentioned, those stackable glass doors. But before we leave here, I'd like to show you the only bedroom, as well as the guest bathroom that's located on the upper level. Let's take a look. So your guest bathroom is located upstairs, easy access to everybody visiting your living quarters. You've got one of those stunning, almost fountain-shaped floating sinks with your faucets coming right out of the wall. Beautiful wallpaper, again, those plantation blinds giving you the privacy that you need with the toilet tucked away in the corner. So here we are within the south wing of this beautiful home and we're gonna show you this first bedroom and then we're gonna carry on traveling up this corridor and show you the second bedroom located downstairs. But let's talk about this hallway for a moment. Beautiful sliding doors, floor to ceiling sliding doors I might add that lead out onto your courtyard, giving you that fresh air as well as hearing the sound of that stunning water feature. So here we are within this stunning homes, first bedroom and what a bedroom this is. Beautiful bulkhead ceilings above us with down lighting. So much space here for all of your furniture. Take a look at this massive bed that easily and comfortably fits within this bedroom. Now this bedroom also has its very own private garden and you can shield yourself from the outside light or even the air with these plantation shutters that you find not only separating the private garden but also the windows not looking outside but looking onto the hallway and then through the hallway through those sliding doors onto that beautiful courtyard area flooring is stunning wood and we're going to go this way over here and let me show you how this bedroom links in to the bathroom as well as its very own walk-in closet so now we're walking from the bedroom into its own bathroom. Beautiful, beautiful lattice work on the right hand side. Massive mirror on my left hand side there with its very own dresser drawer you could say. We've got a desk over here if you're busy getting ready, if you're busy doing your makeup, you're just trying to look as spiffy as possible. And in a house like this, I think it's impossible not to. This is where you'll want to do it. On my left, guys, I'm speaking fast because this house is so big. There's so much to show you. So bear with me. We've got a floating bathtub, stunning thin rim bathtub. We've got this misted glass here, separating the toilet from the rest of the bathroom area. And over here, a walk-in shower. Stunning, massive glass separating that walk-in shower. And take a look at that shower head. Rainfall shower, only the best finishes within this house. And here is the other bedroom's twin almost located the same way, just flipped. We're in the bedroom area again, so much space, aircon above you, beautiful vaulted ceilings with bulkhead roofs, all of those down lights, so much space. I mean, not a lot of bedrooms that are second or third bedrooms that you can easily fit a couch like this in. So that is testament to the amount of space you have here. But let's take a look at that walk-in bathroom as well as closet area, come on. And again, coming into this walk-in bathroom, you pass this beautiful white enamel lacquered latticing. 
wood flooring all out. Here is all your cupboards. The cupboards match the floors beautifully. I love the wood finishes here. And take a look at this bathroom. I want to walk in here because you've got another freestanding bathtub. Really quality fauceting. Again, this walk-in shower. Guys, how inviting is this? Really how inviting is this? Take a look at the lighting again. You've got your freestanding vanity, under counter storage, stunning mirror there. Again, its own unique feel in terms of wallpaper and styling. Here we've got some concrete tiles, plantation shutters, but I'm gonna run straight to you and outside into its very own courtyard that this bedroom has because we've got another one of those really beautiful First, let me just mention these plantation shutters here that can cut you off and give you some privacy. But another one of those really beautiful outdoor showers. Guys, how nice would it be? Maybe not in winter, but how nice in summer would it be to come out here and enjoy one of these showers? So what I think I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna bring my little hairnet, bring myself a towel, bring my scrubbing brush, and I'm gonna do that just for you. So we have just fully explored the southern wing of this house and we're about to take a look at what the northern wing has to offer. When a home is so large that you've got a south and north wing, you know you're doing well for yourself. But right now we come up to our first entry and this is a sliding door that opens up onto your very own fire pit. Now what during winter would ever beat having your very own fire pit right here, a massive fire pit with built-in seating all the way around. Guys, when you're watching this, write in the comments just what the temperature where you are is and what you'd think about having your own built-in fire pit at your house with this incredible piece of art on my right-hand side. This piece of art is made all out of pewter and by Donovan Lewis, custom piece of art just for the owner of this house. How cool is that? But there is more to show you and come with me because I'm never gonna leave you guys hanging. I'm gonna show you exactly what that is. On my right-hand side, we've got your very own Cinema room, take a look at this. Take a look at the ceiling, first of all. We've got all of that hidden lighting in your own. I mean, I've never seen a ceiling like this, so I'm gonna have to say custom ceiling. Beautiful furniture right over here for you to sit down and watch on your 70 inch TV, whatever you want. Surround sound, air conditioning, heaters. I mean, this is exactly where you wanna be watching a movie. Blackout curtain, so you can really get into it with your blinds on the left hand side. Guys, it's a different way of living. I must be honest with you, it is a different way of living. Now that is your very own cinema room. Behind me we have access to one of your two car garages even though this home has a four car garage. That's the entrance for your two car garage right here. We've also got a laundry area over there separated from the main house but we have summed up the north and south wing of this house but this home has so much more to offer. So let me show you the downstairs area and then we can head upstairs and show you all of those living areas up there. So now we head downstairs into your den area, one could say. We've got a informal sitting room right here, beautifully decorated with your ceiling being a featured ceiling. We don't really see that very often, but I love how it's done. It mimics what you'll see upstairs with the rafters and the lighting and the shadows playing together to really create a piece of art. The wood there also mimics exactly what we see here into this entrance with the wood paneling, stunningly done. I love the decorations in here. We've got these stackable glass doors behind me leading into your outside area. And usually, usually we don't do this, but come with me. Let's take a look at that outside area. So here you'll find yourself in your very own ceilinged, walled off, enclave kind of outside area. Beautifully done. I love the tiles. You've got this pool front and center, stunning pool. Oh. You almost want to dive in, but then you check the temperature. Now behind me, we've got a briar there, lots of space for furniture. You've got an eating area over there. These swings sitting strategically placed for you to take advantage of this view right here. And all of this, just giving you that little bit of privacy you need. Now take a look at this. This is what your garden looks like. How stunning with the house rising up from this hillside. But can you ask for more? Yaske River behind you that we're going to show you a little bit more of but this outside area is almost second to none. So as you can see, in the absence of the supervision from my cameraman, I've decided to make myself comfortable, but just off to my right here, we've got another bedroom located downstairs. This could also be a guest bedroom or even an office area. Let's take a look at that. We're gonna show you the study down this hallway. And then as I'd mentioned, the creme de la creme, the master suite is also located downstairs, but we're gonna leave that for last. And as you can see, another bedroom, another private garden. Generally, I'd enter from the door, but we're gonna have to do something special here and we're gonna enter from your private garden. Again, guys, these bedrooms are stellar. You can't say anything bad about it. Bulkhead ceilings, plenty of mood lighting, so much space. This is carpeted 
And then we've got a walk-in closet in front of me that I'm gonna show you as well as your very own private bathroom. Let's take a look. Your walk-in closet has sliding doors and there are featured sliding doors, again, turning this into something that you'd call an art piece. On the right-hand side, we've got a pocket door leading into your very own private bathroom, floating bathtub, toilet on the left-hand side, walk-in shower with beautiful black tiling, again, giving it its very own distinct feature, and then your floating vanity with your very own mirror there. So coming down your stunning art-laden hallway, it's not a lot of studies that have a, their very own hallway. You find yourself in your study. I mean, this study has such a warm, comforting vibe. It's almost those studies we see in the movies with the bookshelves lining the walls and this beautiful pleated couch over here. And take a look at this desk. Yes, I know that the desk may or may not come with a house, but I have to talk about it because it is stunning. Then, what kind of view do you have? Well, let's rotate with my stunning cameraman over here. Take a look at this, guys. Plantation blinders, stackable glass doors leading out to your outside area. If you couldn't find yourself sitting here and signing multi-million dollar deals, guys, we need to up that imagination. Somebody in my company has always told me that you've got to envision your dreams for them to manifest. So bring those deals here, let's sign it. I wouldn't mind finding myself in this 29 million rand absolute stunner dream home located in Danefern Valley. So here we are, I've shown you all of the bedrooms downstairs, we're in the guest bedroom over here, plenty of cupboard space behind me, so much space in this bedroom itself, with your own private bathroom, plantation shutters on the wall, floor to ceiling curtains, and what I love about this curtain, a little hidden fact that makes it look so beautiful, is the railing is hidden from view, hidden in the ceiling, you've got your very own balcony if you'd like to catch some sun, but guys, there's really nothing to fault in a bedroom like this. It is so nice to be in, and it'll be so nice for you to put your guests in, really making them feel special. The guest bedroom has its own unique bathroom with stunning New York style tile all around the bathroom. Another walk-in shower, that rainfall shower head, beautiful filament lighting throughout, as well as your floating vanity, as well as under counter storage there, with some space on the right-hand side for some more storage, hidden cistern on your toilet and your floating toilet. We've shown you all the bedrooms except one, and that is the creme de la creme, the master suite, and what a master suite it is. I seem to be saying this every single week on week. I'm like, guys, this bedroom's better than the next bedroom, but I think this one does take the cake. Decide for yourself, but you're gonna have to follow me for that. So let's go. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the creme de la creme, the master suite. Now I'm standing in the hallway of the master suite and right over here, we've got a walk-in closet and this is the best walk-in closet you could ever imagine with your very own bathroom over here. Plantation blinds in front of me, beautiful, beautiful hallway, really setting you up for what you're gonna see here in this master suite. Bulkhead ceilings with a recess here, two speakers again, playing into the fact that you can play music anywhere in the home at the touch of a switch with your smart home system. I mean, can I talk about the space here? Not really, it's huge. It's got everything you need, king size bed, easily fitting there. And right over here, biofuel fireplace, gas, not allowed in bedrooms anymore, so that is taken care of. But here I am, stackable plantation blinds on either side, floor to ceiling glass, rimless, frameless glass, so it's not impeding that view of nature. But take a listen, the birds chirping, the wind whistling through the trees, all the nature you could ever want right here in Danefern Valley on your very own private garden. Guys, this is the most expensive house we've ever had on the Home Shopper Show, and it has lived up to everybody's expectations. I'd love to hear in the comments what you think about this home, but we're not done yet, because this might be the master suite, but we have not shown you the master bathroom and that walk-in closet, so follow me. Let's show you, if you lived here, where you're gonna be getting changed. And here it is, we've seen a lot of walk-in closets and this one can easily sit proudly among the best of them. Got this huge central area, all of this under counter storage, plenty of storage behind me, glass fronted cupboards, and just to the left here is the bathroom. But there's also a space there or a section for you to do your makeup with those plantation blinds, letting in some natural light so you ladies can get it looking exactly how you want it to be. Getting and then on the left hand side, you've got a section there for you to do your makeup in front of the plantation blinds, letting in that natural light so all of you ladies can look exactly how beautiful we all know you do. But behind me, guys, I'm gonna give you a hint before we go there. This is not a bathroom so much as it is almost a spa area. 
take a look. Now, how incredible is this space? Pocket door leading you here into your master bathroom. We've got a vanity right here, under counter storage for one, and another vanity right over there with under counter storage for the other. Not one, but two floating bathtubs. So if you want to take a bath with your loved one, with your partner, you could sit here, enjoy the outdoor area, and even hold hands especially during Valentine's Day. I can see people definitely thinking of that. I thought of that, but take a look at this walk-in shower. Rainfall head just above you, faucets, an area for you to sit down, relax, and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Some other really cool points of this area are the two chandeliers. There's two above the vanities, as well as one main one floating above the bathtubs, looking so much like a stunning cloud. And to say goodbye, you found me on the banks of the Yeske River. This is the same river that passes just outside that stunning home. Hearing the water, waking up every morning to this view definitely sounds like something a lot of us would want to do, myself included. But that does conclude this episode. So for everybody who joined in, thank you so much for watching another episode of the Home Shopper Show. These air every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. And for myself, Chad Viveros, the team at Private Property, as well as the team at the Home Shopper Show, thank you so much and goodbye. Thank you.